everybody today I am going to uh, apply my um, beneficial nematodes uh, in my garden and uh, as you can as you know I'm a no spray um, no spray garden right here so uh, the tactic I use right here is to uh, use the beneficial bugs to fight my uh, pests and uh, I haven't tried the beneficial nematode yet so this is the first time I actually try it so um, I'm kind of excited to, to try it because I heard so many good things about it and it kind of makes sense to do it so um, I got this from the Arpico Organic that is the company I think a lot of people know about that company um, so they ha actually have uh, three different type of nematodes that you can get um, for different kind of purposes so you can see like for example you have a the they call it the nematode SF right here because it stands for S and the F is standard name of Fel, Fel, sorry I am very bad at pronunciation but um, they are like this one is uh, known to wait for the passing pest like the cabbage mag maggot um, onion maggot and uh, trips which is my biggest enemy right here okay and uh, so um, this is one I really really need because of the trips it, it, it actually uh, uh, take care of the trips now this one is the hatch bee they call it uh, this actually uh, seek out the lava pest and it's effective to a queen ant which is great because we have a lot of ants here um, they also have the uh, fleas and grubs. Grub is going to be useful if you're Japanese uh, beaters in your, uh, in your area because they started from grubs. Okay, and then you have also, this is the SC. It's uh, effective for the, for the cupworm fly larvas and termites and more. So i just thinking if I got all three of them, I should be able to take care of almost everything in my garden inside the soil so uh, let's uh, let's see how well it works so um, I, I actually have a, a big note right here I call them to uh, get my big note to make sure like I got I got it right so I'm kind of nervous hopefully I do it right so uh, I'm just gonna tell you what they told me okay when I call them so they basically say that you can actually apply this um, at the beginning or end of spring, summer, and fall. So, so it's like uh, three times a year. And if you actually garden heavily during the summertime, you can actually apply as many as you want during the entire summertime. So it doesn't the heat doesn't really affect um, affect the the how active. Uh, the nematode is they are not affected like that okay and you need to apply this two weeks after you receive it and you need to refrigerate it once you receive it until you use it okay so uh, so so two weeks okay is the time period that you can use after you receive it you have two weeks to use it now before you apply it you need to make sure your soil is wet so I just have a the entire day is like rain is so wet right now over here so I'm just like okay let's do it so then I don't know I save a, a bunch of steps to go water my entire garden again um, and then they say you need to water daily after you apply for at least one week to keep the nemito hydrated and uh, I'm gonna show you how to mix it right now okay because I asked them and they say that um they give me the instruction of how to do it. I'm just gonna show you how to do it because it has so many, so many. I, I try to research online, just so many different ways. There's never a clear instruction of how to do it. So I'm gonna, I call them, I ask them so many questions, make sure I understand. I'm gonna show you how to mix it after I talk to them. Okay, let's get started. You need a big bucket. So the amount of water you need. For this, it depends on how big is the garden that you want to apply. So if you only have a few plants that you need to apply, 
you can just use a watering can because you only have a few plants. Like I have 100 something roses. So I need a, a huge bucket to, to actually mix it in, okay? Like a huge bucket. Cause, and, then, and then you can either mix it in it and then just hand water it. Or if you are like me, have a lot of uh, dump, then uh, you can use something like, this is uh, kind of like the, the hose uh, attachment, the hose end sprayer. Then you can just spray, you just put in the mixture inside there and then you set the dial to 4 ounces per gallon. So you set to 4 ounces, okay? And then, let's see. So uh, I'm gonna start the mix. Oh yeah, by the way, if you buy all three of them, you can actually mix all of them in there at the same time. And uh, you can just use them all at the same time. You don't need to apply them separately. That's a very important note. And also, after you mix it in there, you just mix it, pop the powder in there and put all the water inside there. And then you just mix it and stick it, uh, stir it up, and wait for five to 10 minutes so that you will hydrate the, um, the nematodes. Okay, let me go do it and I will show you how I do it after I'm done, okay? All three of them in there. Now I'm just gonna start mixing it. I think this is all I need for to cover um, my uh, all my roses. So I'm just gonna mix it in there, just stir it, and now I am going to leave it there for five minutes. I think five or ten minutes. I think you will still see some crumb here and there. I don't think you can avoid that. Just how it is. I'm just gonna let it sit for five minutes, five to ten minutes before I start using it and spray it. It's five minutes later, so I'm I just uh, do a little mix again, okay, and then uh, I'm gonna fill up my uh, bin, my reservoir for the sprayer, and uh, I'm gonna attach it to the hose, and I will show you how I do it after that. It's in. Uh, attach it to the hose. So uh, you need to remember to say to four ounces per gallon. And then next, you're just gonna spray it like how you usually water your plants, okay? Just like that. So just make sure that you apply them evenly in the soil, like that. And eventually it will reduce, and then you just go back and fill up the tank again, okay? We're just doing it halfway, and uh, I noticed something that I think uh, is worth mentioning. So when I spray it, I just I keep thinking, like, why is it not coming down? It should have reduced, uh, you know, when I do it. And I, I check, and it, it, at the end, it's like um, the sprayer head, where it suck up all the mixture. It's kind of blocked because there's some gunky, um, uh, kind of like gunky things that is the, at the bottom of it. So you got to make sure that the spray actually will reduce, the mixture inside there will reduce if it's not reduced. Make sure you stop and check it and clear it up, okay? And my video to show you all how beautiful is my prints, the prints from David Austin after the rain. Look at how gorgeous it is. Now it took me a while to um, finish it and uh, I will update you all with the result maybe in fall and see if actually I have less pests. So uh, just keep that. So keep that. I will. I'll just subscribe to me if you want to get get the update video from me. Um. So um. Hopefully it helped. If you have any question, you can put it in a comment, and I will try my best to answer. If I cannot answer, then I will. I will. I will, I will contact the people at Rpico to answer it. Okay. Again, this is not a sponsored video from Rpico. Okay. I'm, I. I didn't get any money from them. I just. Just want to show you all how to do it. All right. Adios. Talk to see you guys next time.